very good morning children in this video we are going to discuss gaseous exchange and oxygen transport before that in last video we discussed a question where will be dead space volume is more is it for young man old man young woman or old woman yes it is for older man it will be bigger very good children keep posting your answer like this to motivate me even okay uh, gaseous exchange let us discuss so gaseous exchange mainly depends on solubility thickness of membrane and also diffusion gradient and you know children air will be only traveling all throughout it gets exchange in the alveoli and if you see the alveoli where gas exchange happens uh, as you know it is having squamous epithelium in capillaries we have endothelium and in between we have basement membrane so these three act as a filtering unit for uh, diffusion okay so these three only act as a diffusion agent fine now how oxygen is getting transported let us see uh, oxygen in rbc it is exchanged 97 to 98 percent plasma is transporting around the remaining 2 to 3 percent okay and in rbc as we all know hemoglobin is there to carry and four hemoglobin when combined with four oxygen molecule it transport okay and uh, as we know it is based on diffusion only and our lung is a negative lung pressure negative pressure lung in atmosphere you can find 159 mm hg is the oxygen pressure value po2 value and in alveoli if you to see if it is 104 mm hg so compared to the atmosphere in alveoli it is less so diffusion of air happens and compared to this in the blood capillary which is around 95 mm hg so diffusion of air happens so this is how gaseous exchange happens in case of po2 and you know children when oxygen combines with hemoglobin when po2 is more pco2 is less and temperature should be less hydrogen ion concentration should be less so this is the condition where hemoglobin will combine with oxygen and uh, at p50 value what happens to the oxygen and hemoglobin attraction it gets saturated that also a possible question so at p50 the pressure value is 27 mm hg now let me ask you a question children see assume these gases nitrogen carbon monoxide oxygen carbon dioxide can you arrange these gases based on the diffusion capacity from higher to lower children please post your answers in the comment box thank you all for watching this video please subscribe share with your friends